Okay. It's the new game show that's keeping us sane in virus land. It's Pandemic Password with your host, L.A. comedian, podcast host, die-hard Detroit Lions fan, and plant-based gay, Jenny McNulty! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pandemic Password. Thank you so much for being here with us. We have got a great game for you today. But before we go any further, I have to bring to the Zoom box here my lovely, fantastic, wonderful co-host, that sister with sass, that 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 rebellious religious person, that 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 that, that nun with everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Sister Mary Agnes Labia. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Really? No, I mean, honestly, really, it, that's too much. Uh, uh, Lisa, it's great to be here. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Sister Mary Agnes Labia, L-A-B-I-A. It is Latin, uh, roughly translated. It means Lady Flip Flaps. So uh, just for those of you who were wondering, and I teach over at Our Lady of Perpetual Mood Swing near SeaTac and near Seattle. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Sister, I'm so happy you're here today. You have to help me. You have to help me. I I know you being, you know, super Catholic and all, you know about exorcisms. And I need Mm. someone to exercise my Detroit Lions because they keep blowing forth quarter leads. I've done everything I can. I'm wearing the home jersey when they're home and the away jersey when they're away. I color coordinate my underwear for the game. What can I do to exercise my Lions so they will quit giving up fourth quarter leads? Uh, not not much for you to do, dear. They are the lions, after all. Uh, 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 well, all I can say is, uh, pray to the baby Jesus uh, daily, maybe three, four times a day. Uh, just uh, pray. Pray to, you, uh, to your heart's uh, desire. And, uh, of course, uh, keep the color coordinating going, because I believe uh, that actually, um, that helps. That helps. Uh, because, you know, the, the football jerseys are, uh, are, are a large part of the game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sister. I will try. I will, I will begin praying for the lions. Um, and uh, you know what? I, before, we, before we go any further, we'd just like to say that uh, right up here, you see this little tip jar here, tips. If you feel so inclined, go to heylisa.com. Now, that is the website of one Lisa Koch, who is so kind to let us use her website. She's a lovely person and a very, very good friends with Sister Mary Agnes. So we're we're like, uh, we're like this. Uh, She's a beautiful, uh, so smart, so talented, (laughs) uh, just a wonderful woman. Everyone loves her. Uh, Yeah. uh, uh, So uh, yeah, she's letting us use the tip jar. And of course, today we're not coming to you live. I wish we were. Uh, We had a a little uh, technical difficulty, Uh, but we're taping this for a posterior and we'll be showing it soon. Yes as soon as possible. All right, um, Sister, why don't you tell us who we have with us here today? That's, that's a really good idea, isn't it? Okay, uh, first up, she's a comedian, writer, activist, actress, singer, and producer of the Portland Queer Comedy Festival, and she was just awarded the Woman of Achievement Award from the state of Oregon. Please welcome Belinda Carroll. Hello, 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 Belinda. Thank you so, so much for playing with us today. Now, um, I know that you are not only an amazing comedian and the organizer of the Portland Comedy Festival and an actor, you are also an activist. So I want to know, you know, an, an activist, the big thing, they want to get their message out. They, they protest, they march, they do whatever, they make signs to get their message heard. If you could have the ear of Donald J. Trump, what message would you like to relay to him if you could make sure that he heard it? What would that message be, Belinda? It would be absolutely nothing because what I would like to have happen is have the FBI just raid the White House and take him out wordlessly before he knows anything's happening. That's my goal. (laughs) I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I I agree. I would like to see him in jail and every Trump Tower turned in low-income housing. Oh, yeah, oh, very good. good. Oh, goodness. Universal housing made out of Trump Towers. I there you it. go. I yeah. Who's next up, sister? Next up, she grew up in Maine. Uh, that's, uh, that's a state. Uh, she's a comedian, writer, classically trained actress, improv artist, and winner of the That's the Light comedy competition 
Give it up for Heather Thompson. Yay! Hello, Heather, and thank you so much for being with us. Now, I heard a rumor, Heather, you know, you're up there in, in Portland, Maine. I heard a rumor that actually many of Stephen King's works were actually your ideas, some of his books. Is, is that true? Oh, yeah. You know, I like to tie one on and then just like <laughs> ramble outside the local general store, you know, and he just comes with a notepad and he listens to me. And then next thing I know, that weird dream I had two years ago is like selling out bookshelves. <laughs> and, you know, I tell him, just get me a scented candle now and then. You don't have to give me any royalties or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but a, st a scented candle from Stephen King could be kind of like horrible. <laughs> could be anything. Yes. Sister, who, who's up next? She's an award-winning producer, director of film and television programming, as well as a producer of live comedy concerts with Women on a Roll and Women on the Net. Please welcome Andrea Myerson. Yay! Thank you for taking time out of your Zoom room to come into our Zoom room, Andrea. And having been a part of many of your performances that you do, many of the shows that you do, um, I, you know what, I know you, Andrea, and isn't it true that women on the net used to be women in a net based on some weird, creepy fantasy that you had? Is that true? Oh, okay. so Jenny, when I shared that with you, with you that was like our little... <laughs> oh. Remember in P-Town, we were in P-Town, we were watching the fishermen bring in the lobsters. They're all in this net. So I'm like, oh my, and they had this wild fantasy, like what if they just bring in women on a net like that? <laughs> and we're just there, we dry them off, you know, take care of their shells a little bit and see what's inside those shells. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the pandemic happened. I'm like, oh my God, this could be my fantasy. Kind of with women on a roll. When I used to go hiking, I would visualize women rolling, rolling. <laughs> <laughs> but these things just come to me. It's I just visualize. And then I didn't mean to start the pandemic by having this will and this desire for women <laughs> in a net. And here we are on the net. So sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I might have a little something to do with it. And I'm so sorry. And you've been giving bats have been getting a bat name all this time. Everyone's blaming the poor bats. Here it is. It's all Andrea Myerson all this Andrea. time. And finally, who's our last contestant? Finally, from L.A., she's an actor-comedian featured in the TV series Get Spy and Yes, Doctor. She's also the producer of the Hot Medusa comedy show, and she designs sweatpants and walks on hot coals for fun. Please welcome Suwan Weaver. Hey! Hello, Suwan. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, now, but for real, you really did do fashion design. You really were in fashion. What the hell? I mean, we're not going to know how to wear pants or anything. What kind of new fashion is going to come out of, of, of no, one, no one wearing pants for the last six months? Well, our brand is actually, I, I still work in fashion. I still have a day job because, you know, we've got to pay the bills. But um, one of the main concerns in fashion was always like looking fat, right? Like Tom Ford had said, like, don't wear underwear because it makes you look fat. So like those kind of prickish concerns are definitely pre COVID. So thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so now we just all look like round from the waist down. It's great. Yes, I know that my underwear make me look fat. <laughs> so, yeah, just... My habit makes me look quite uh, large as well. <laughs> Even black. I don't know what it is. You know what's funny is my drinking <laughs> habit is making me look oh, large. Yeah. That's, uh... That's it. Cookies. Cookies actually have, have, have not helped. <laughs> All right. Lisa, let's get this puppy started. Give us the rules. Man, take out your magic whipping nurse or nurse, nun ruler, and give None, the rules. Nurse. I can be a nurse. I can be whatever you want, Jenny. Okay. Hey, really. Okay. Listen, uh, here's the deal. Uh, Andrea and Suwan, you're going to be Team Lala. Uh, from LA, the LA uh, people, and Belinda and Heather. Uh, Belinda is from Portland, and of course Heather uh, was born in Maine. So you are you are Team Portland because there's a Portland in both Oregon and Maine. Isn't that clever? Okay, all right. Now here's the rules. Listen up. A contestant from each team receives the password, and they must give a clue, which their partner then tries to guess. If you guess incorrectly, play passes to the next team until the password has been guessed. Remember, you cannot use any form of the password in your answer, or you will hear this. 
And remember, your clues can only be one single word. Let's play Pandemic Password. All right, here we go. So we have arbitrarily decided that um, Andrea and Belinda are going to give the clues for the first round, and Suan and Heather are going to receive said clues. So we need Suan and Heather and anyone out there in uh, password land that is playing along to cover your eyes so that you do not see what the password is, and then we'll let you know when you can uncover them. All right, you guys are covered up. Let's go ahead, sister. The password is... Got it, guys? All right, everybody at home, you may look. And Andrea, we're gonna start with you. So you give the clues first. One word. Okay. Um, hmm. Boy, you don't make it easy. Okay. So, That's not the clue. No, not the clue. Okay, so I'm gonna go with um, Oh God, you're gonna that has two meanings. I'm not using that. I know how to get the clicker. Okay, wait. Um, okay, Suan, here's your clue. Are you ready? Okay, I want to make sure you were ready. Here's your clue. Um uh what's that word? There's a word I'm looking for that you go in and uh okay. five seconds. Yeah, yeah, see, I knew it. Okay. Um <laughs> sheltering. Hope. Yeah, that too. Okay. All right. Not the word, but good try. Um, and go ahead. So, Belinda, you are up next. Lee. Is it one word and then you do, or can you do other words? Nope, one word is all. Just one okay. word. Flee. So, um, uh, wait, Andrea, Andrea stop. Wait. Oh, I thought, I thought no, that, no, no, she hasn't guessed anything she repeated, yet. She repeated her clue. Okay, sorry, jeez. <laughs> Escape? No, but good it's good one. All right, so we've had sheltering and flee. Now, here you go, Andrea, go ahead. Um, okay, so, fire. Stop with the arms, dear. Okay. It, yeah, okay. Okay. Just a, it's just, yeah. Yeah, just a little twitch, nothing. <laughs> Fire. Uh-huh. Fire. Uh, Five seconds. Oh, damn it! Think Fire. of it. Hydrant! That's not it! <laughs> You're right! Hydrant is not it! Hydrant must not it. Okay, that's all right. All right. Keep it going. One more time. Leave. Run? No. All right, one more time, Andrea. Okay, here we go. Um, disasters. <laughs> Stop with the hands. Sit with your sit on your hands, Andrea. Sit oh. on them. Oh. Good that, girl. That feels good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Put them all together. I'm doing it. <laughs> Do it harder. <laughs> Do it harder. <laughs> Five seconds. Mm -hmm. Exodus. Mm, no, idea. but uh, one more try for Belinda. This is it. You guys don't last it. one. Okay. Um, save. 
Evacuate. Yes, there you go. Nicely done, Heather. Nicely done. All righty. Well, this show should be over sometime Ooh, Tuesday. That was a that was a tough one. Let's let's just keep moving, shall we? All right, let's do that. All right. So now for this next one, Heather and Suan will be let's giving me back away that question. <laughs> uh, the uh, Heather and Suan will be giving clues, and Belinda and Andrea, you need to close your eyes or look away. Belinda and Andrea, look away. All right. The password is. Got it? All right. If you're watching at home, you can uncover your eyes as well. Andrea and Belinda, come on back. Uh, Heather, you go first. One word only. Gather. Quarantine? Mm, no, no, it is not. Go ahead, Suan. Protest. Uh, rally? Yes! Mm -hmm. Nicely done, Andrea! Good job. There we go. Woo! All right, you guys made up for the first round. Now we're on a roll. Now, now we're on a roll. Here we go. This is word number three, and we are back to the, the initial. So it's going to be Andrea and Belinda this time with Sue Ann and Heather, Heather covering their eyes. Thank you very much. Go ahead. The password uh, is... Got, wait, all three of you are closing your eyes. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Hold wait. on, hold on, hold on. Suan and Heather, cover your eyes. Andrea. Andrea and Belinda, you need to look. Andrea, you need to give this clue. So you need to look. The okay. password is? I did so good receiving. Thank you. Here you go. Did you get it? Yeah. OK, all right. Now you may uncover your eyes at home. And uh, Andrea, you go first. So go ahead. OK. Um. Weather. Oh. Five seconds. Oh, come on. Just think of something. Temperature. No. There we go. All right. So, uh, Belinda? Change. Hazardous? No. All right. Back to you, Andrea. Go ahead. Um, warming. Global. No. Good but guess. Good guess. Go ahead. Belinda? Clouds. <laughs> is it one word or is it, is it allowed to be two one, words? It's one, one, word. one word. Okay. Climate? Yes, very That's good. good. That's the word. Nicely done. Nicely done. And I like your I like your aggravated frustration look. Like, eh. <laughs> and then you pull it off. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's good. All right. All right. Here we go. Our last word for password. One more time. We got Heather and Sue on giving the clues. So we need uh, Belinda and Andrea. We do need you to cover your eyes this time. Time. This time. Okay. This, this time. time. Okay. The password is. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're watching at home, you may look. Andrea and Belinda, you may come back. Belinda has gone under the table. We've, we've lost Belinda. <laughs> We're drinking under the table with Belinda. It's happy hour. Happy hour here at Pandemic Password. That's why I, 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 want, I want to digress right now, but. All right. To say that, okay. All right, so we have, um, uh, Heather, you go first. Oh, okay. Um... Theory. Gender. What was it? What was your answer? Gender. She said gender. gender. No. Okay. The clue was theory. I'm sorry. The clue was theory. Correct. Yeah. Theory. Okay. Yeah. That's why I said gender. All right, Suan, go ahead. 
Fox. Conspiracy. Whoa, That's look at that. Did I get it? You yes. did. How did you pull conspiracy because out of? Because theory right away. That was and, then good. When she, and when she said Fox, hello, put two and two together. Good uh, job. And here's the deal. Our teams are tied, Jenny. Oh, well, what yes. is it? Zero, zero? No, what, what is the tie? It's two to two. Two to two. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Well, that was uh, delightful. This next game, uh, this is my favorite game. I love this game because we get to show off uh, one of Sister's many amazing talents is her musicality. She's a, a fantastic, the singing nun was actually based on Sister Mary Agnes. <laughs> oh, right. That's yeah. right. It is. So here's this game is called Best Next Line. And what our contestants are going to do is each of them individually will have their own performance that will count toward their group score. So Sister is going to play and sing a song that we all know and love. And then in the middle of the song, she will stop, at which point the contestant must pick up where she left off and sing whether they know the words or not. If they know the words, sing the words. If they want to make something up, go ahead. If you don't know them, just sing it, whatever it is, with gusto. You're being uh, scored, if you will. On your on your delivery, not so much what uh, what the words are. So go ahead, sister. That's right. And if you if you want to embellish uh, with uh, you know uh, just flashing anything or or uh, interpretive dancing, I am always entertained by that kind of shit. So here we go. These are all songs from the '60s. From the '60s. Ooh, all right. Here all we right. go. Um, Heather, we're gonna Heather. You're up first. Here we go. My folks were always putting him down, down, down. They said he came from the wrong side of town. They told me he was bad, but I knew he was sad. That's when I fell for the leader of the pack. Nicely done, exactly. It was it was it was wonderful. Again, you start with that look of, of frustration and then bam, <laughs> out comes the correct answer. That was wonderful. I'm gonna give you a thousand points for knowing a song written 20 years before you were born. Actually, uh, uh, it's uh, Jenny always gives way too many points. Uh, it's one, worth one point, but I am giving you a second point just for blurting. You blurted it out at the end, and you, it was just, it was there was joy with the blurt. So yes. we're giving you two points for that. All right, two points right. for a joyful blurt. Very the, well. The joyful blurt. That's a good name for a band, isn't it? It is. The joyful it blurts. Is. I like that. Okay. So, uh, so on. We're going with you. Here we go. You zip. Okay, here we go. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it, baby. because you took you've lost that loving feeling put a positive spin and said you've got that loving feeling and then at the end you not only did the whoa woes you actually got lower with the woes in she the did. zoom box it was amazing a million points for that suan a million points I, uh, suan i gave you uh i gave you one point for uh, close to the the correct lyrics and uh, another point for your awesome dancing and and the woo woo woo, which um, actually made me just the tiniest bit moist here at home. But that's probably too much information. Um, okay, Belinda, you are up next, dear. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can remember what the hell I'm doing. Here we go. All right. Oh, this is a good one, Ira. Now if you feel that you can't go on, because all of your hope is gone. And your life is filled with much confusion 
Until happiness is just an illusion And your world about is crumbling down Darling, reach out Come on, girl Reach out for me Reach out Reach out Reach out for me I love it. I love it. I love it. It was completely wrong. But you it doesn't matter. matter. I don't even know the song at all. I know. And that was what was so beautiful about it. You just <laughs> took it and you made it like a weird little rap. It was kind of like, reach out, reach out. I could, I could almost hear the 60s boom box in the background. It was amazing. And I, I, a, a million points for you too, Belinda. I liked it, dear. I have given you a, a one point for, a, even though they were completely incorrect lyrics, you sang them with gusto, and you also uh, a, a did a little shake and a shimmy, which I liked a lot. Uh, as you can tell, uh, I'm easily entertained on this end, so you got two points for that. All Excellent. right. Excellent. Here we go. Here we go. We're finishing off with Andrea. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Something's happening here What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware It's time we Stop now, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Stop now, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down <laughs> That was... Wow, Amazing. that was so good. That was, you know, that, that song got wider and wider and wider as you sang. It was really amazing. By the end, it was, it was I, I think it was David Attenborough, and, but it was really wonderful. Uh, a million points, Andrea Meyerson. That was awesome. Wow. It was excellent. You know, it was more like a cheer, Andrea. What's up? Hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look, what's going down, 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 stop. It was good. I gave you two points. So here's the deal. Our teams are tied. Woo! This is a close. This one's neck and neck. This is a good one, you guys. This is a good one. Um, all right. What is coming up next? Is that... <clears throat> this next game is uh, this test your knowledge about weird facts. This is called For Reals or Fake News. Uh, Jenny will now give you each a series of factoids, and you have to determine, is that fact true or a big fat lie? Uh, you can help your partner if they are really sucking. All right, here we go. Heather, you are up first. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm just going to read this to you twice, and you tell me, is it for reals or fake news? All right, so every month, each and every month, globally, all around the world, <clears throat> duh, uh, globally, all around the world, <laughs> 129 million face masks, and 65 million gloves are uh, thrown away. One million, 129 million face masks and 65 million gloves are thrown away each month globally. I think that's for real. I think that's true. It's sadly fake news because it's a billion each month. One billion face masks and, uh, and gloves are tossed away. And it's also really important to remember when you throw your ma face mask out to snip off the little loopy things around your ears because they're getting all tangled up in wildlife. And it's... Oh, dear. Yeah. So <laughs> make sure you cut the... Everybody get the washable ones so we don't create more garbage during this pandemic. Just there's some really nice washable ones. You wear them once you wash them. It's the way to go. You no reuse more. them, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Thank you, Andrea. All right. Um, all right, here we go. So uh, next up is Andrea. This is you. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Scott Atlas, Trump's new advisor for the Corona Task Force, um, who has no experience in immunology or public health, but he's the new advisor for the Corona Task Force. He was actually given the Comeback Award from his university, the University of Illinois. He received the Comeback Award. Fake news or for reals? Let me just preface this with saying I have no fucking idea and I really don't give a shit. But, oh, was I allowed to swear? My bad. Yeah. A little late, but yeah. You could be bleep me. Uh, I, I'm i just going to go with what I hope. I hope he didn't get a comeback award. I'm afraid he did. But so I, you're saying that that's fake news? 
I'm going to say it's fake news. All right. Well, it's actually for reals. But you'll be happy to know that the Comeback Award is just um, the people that uh, they, it's an award for prominent and an accomplished alumni that come back to the campus during homecoming <laughs> week and hang out with the students. That's the Comeback Award. So, did he post it on his resume? <laughs> it's, it's, on his website. it's on his Wikipedia thing. Well, that explains how he did it. That explains now how he got the job. Yeah, I mean, okay. Anyone, anyone can get a job. Suan, this one is you. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Hattie, Andrea, you just went, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And so, so it would be, uh, excuse me, then it will be Belinda. This one's you. Okay. All right. Um, last week, Belinda, last week, India pulled ahead of the United States in the number of confirmed coronavirus cases. That is India, true. That is true. No, that is fake no. news. We are still leading the way. We're wow. number one. Okay, we're we're number, number one. We have the most. My, I'm, I'm stumping all you guys. All right. Come on, Suan. You can bring us. You can bring it home with us. Come on, right. Suan. Here you go, Suan. Trump. Finally, just this past weekend, finally, finally, finally admitted that climate change has a little bit to do with all the forest fires that are going on. Four reels are fake news. Trump finally admitted that climate change plays some part in these forest fires. You know, Andrea is shaking her head, but I actually think he did admit it. So I'm going to say, oh, God, fuck. Well, I already said it, so fuck it. For oh, real. Well, no, he's still blaming forest mis mismanagement. Right, exactly. Forest he mismanagement. That's right. And if anyone knows about mismanaging things, it's, it's Trump. It's Trump. Yes. Well, I did, the I did know that for sure because I just saw him get up there and goes two words: forest mismanagement. So I, I did know that. For, that oh, was I'm the sorry. only one I knew for sure. I All right. Well, well, the good news. The good news is our teams are still tied. <laughs> <laughs> Very good news. Now it's time to test Never your. Of us are surviving the apocalypse. That's right. Now it's time to test your team trivia knowledge. All right. So uh, this is going to, we're going to start out with Team Lala. All right. Team Lala. Here's your question. The heart, the, uh, this is uh, sort of a, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's, it's a marine life questions here. The heart of a shrimp is located where? The heart of a shrimp is located where? In his I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? I'm just making. I don't know. I I I wonder. Did I guess? Does every living met organism have a heart? Like you know what I mean? Is it a trick question? Trump doesn't. But go ahead. Right. Yeah. Um, could it be like in their spine, maybe? But I the, yeah, I was gonna say in this in their butt or something like. Uh, in the butt. That'd be the butt. Okay. Um, in the butt, Bob. Yeah. In the butt, Bob. In the butt. Best game show answer ever. Um, is that your final answer? Are you still uh, chatting uh, about it? Are we, are we staying in the butt? Or, are, I mean, do you, do you uh, want uh, it in the butt? I'm asking you one. Do you want it in the butt? I don't really, really <laughs> want it in the butt, no. So. I, don't, I don't want it in the butt either. I don't but. want it in the butt. How about in the feet? <laughs> in the feet? But they have, they have um, what are they? Yeah, they don't really have. Uh, OK, maybe is it in their forehead? Do, well, like, no. between their eyes? There's so much going on there. It could be hidden, you know? It could be hidden there, but then, wow. Yeah, uh, just uh, uh, pick something there. Uh, pick a, Andrea, pick a body part and. Because you got the last answer right. I know, but I knew that one for sure. This I have no idea. Okay, are we, are we going with what now? We're gonna go, should we go with between the eyes? Sure. <laughs> yeah. um, really? And it's, in its head. It's in its head. head. As hard as it can. Look at you. All right. I'm so but, glad. See how easy it is to mix up the head with the butt? Yeah, and this from now on will be the uh, the question we ask of everyone here on Pandemic Password. <laughs> Are you staying in the butt? I think Are you staying, staying in the butt? Are you staying in the butt? Are you staying in the butt? That's the question. Why in the butt? Are you staying All right. in the butt? <laughs> Team Portland, we're moving on here. This is another weird question, all right? This is about lobsters. Lobsters mm -hmm. communicate with a very unusual, with what unusual part of their body? Lobsters mm -hmm. communicate with what unusual part of their body? 
Is it their uh, pinchers or their wiggle lambs? The first thing I thought of was uh, antenna. I think we're talking about the same thing when you say wiggle lambs, but I was thinking yeah, they're yeah. antenna. <laughs> But I don't know, but I'm liking this a lot. It's that or the pinchers, because I mean, there's a lot of animals that do their that communicate with their antennas. Yeah, I'd, I'd like it in the butt. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Is sorry. It their butt? Could it be their butt? Maybe they do it completely by farts. You don't even know. Like, I mean, how well do we know lobsters for real? Um, do you want to go with antenna or do you want to go with uh, pinchers? I think it could be either, but I'm leaning antenna. Okay. I'll go antenna. Antenna? And that is incorrect. Oh, now, this is, a, this is a hard question. Uh, it's their bladders. They communicate with their bladders. Lobsters have bladders on either side of their head, so they communicate by urinating on each other. Have you thought about Trump being a lobster? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. is, that like, is that like how they say hi? Or like, this is my lobster territory? They just pee on each other. They just pee on each other. Yeah. You're the one from Maine. You should I know. I mean, I eat them all the time, but I didn't know they peed on each other. They peed on, on each other to communicate. I mean, can you really be judgmental over a golden shower? No. I no. know. Never. Never. Well, but you know when you go to the restaurant, though, and you can see all those lobsters in the thing, and you're going, ooh, there's my dinner. It looks tasty, and you don't know. You <laughs> God, you're in all over it already. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, get us the hell out of here. I have, like, seven people today. It is just They're going to eat us. Let's get back at them. Piss on me. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. In the butt. Oh, in sorry. Butt. I went back. Are you staying in the butt? Yes, I'm staying in the butt. Oh. Lobster's in the butt. <laughs> Lobster's in the butt. Shame what? on you. All right, here we go. We are now up to the lightning round of ridiculousness. Uh, what's the score, first of all? What's the score? Uh, oh, well, here's the deal. Uh, it looks like Team Lala has pulled ahead by a single point. Ooh. One point. Team Lala's ahead. It's uh, seven to six right now. All right, but it's super easy to catch up on this round because you can get as many points as you can get. So uh, this is the lightning round of ridiculous. Nico has this. Do you want to tell them the rules? Yes. Uh, these are names of things you might associate with our current global pandemic or current events. You'll be given clues by your teammate, and you have 45 seconds to guess as many words as you can. If you are stumped, just yell pass and move on because this is all about speed. All right, clue givers, be as descriptive as you, as you like. You can say as much as you like, but do not use any form of the answer in your clue. All right, here we go. And who was in the lead? Uh, let's see, Team Lala Team is Lala. in the All lead. Right. So Team Lala, you go first then. All right, so Team Lala, these, I'm going to say it twice. Oh, first of all, you have to decide who's going to give and who's going to receive the clues. Well, maybe I should give because okay. it worked out kind of good that way last okay. time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, then Andrea, as much as you can, like spit it out. Okay. Well, and, and I remember on this one, you can use as many words. You can use songs. You can use yeah. rhymes. You can use just gestures. Do whatever you need. Fine, okay. So gestures yeah. won't help because Andrea's not looking. But other than that, you can do right. whatever else. But it's all about being as quick as you can. It's about speed on these. And you can pass. Don't forget you. You can pass. All right. So Andrea, you want to either can turn sideways? Pass? Can I pass, or can either of us pass, or just yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. okay. Either of you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Turn sideways, Andrea. Now, can you still hear us? There you go. All right. Well, if you're going to cover up, you can face the, the camera so we can hear you. Uh, yeah, we need to hear you. So just cover your eyes. That works. All right. I have my glasses. Then I can't see even if my eyes are exposed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are, are you guys listening? These are things associated with the wildfires. These are things associated with the wildfires. Evacuate. Wait. <laughs> no, we haven't started yet, dear. Okay. All right. I'm going to start this in just a moment. Here we go. Things you associate with wildfires and ready, go. Uh, it's when it's all gray in the sky. When it's gray in the sky? Gray. The sky's it's all gray. And, and, and then it's like fire from the sky. And it's, it's like, well, smoky. I don't know what you're saying. You got that one. Okay. Now it's like us. Thunderbolt. Uh, a thunderbolt. Uh, it's a spray. They're spraying it. To, it's it's, it's a, the sky. a flash flood. It's a it's a flashing. Pass. No, it's a big flash. Pass. Okay. It's uh, like the person that puts out the fire, and then they've it's got the. Fireman. It's the fireman. And then they've got a big tractor truck. 
and they're pushing dirt. It's a house. They have a house. No, it's a bigger thing. And it's, it's like a, a, it's a, it's a oh, Okay. Damn it. Bulldozer and lightning. And I, I, lightning. Hope you said, I thought you said past I, I one. That's why I jumped in on that. I, I thought lightning? you said that. I said lightning, didn't I? No. Oh, I thought I did. You, I think you said everything but lightning. I thought I said lightning, but maybe I didn't. Maybe not in that in that answer. Anyway, uh, what'd they get, sister? Oh, uh, they got two points off of that. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, so there you go. Point. So now you know what you need to do, Team Portland. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So who's going to give and who's going to receive, you guys? I think I should receive. Okay. Thanks, Belinda. Are you good yeah, with that, Belinda? Okay, fine. So then you want to go ahead and either turn sideways or cover up. There you go. Fantastic, Heather. All right. Name these things associated with September. These things associated with September. All right. And here we go. Uh, towers. Uh, falling. Uh, people. You can say as much as you want. Uh, freedom. Uh, forget. I would uh, say task. Task. Holiday. Union. Working. Uh, Labor Day? Yeah. yeah. Okay, next. Task. Oh, I can't see the clue. Oh, all right. Pass. Give him one more. She couldn't see that one, so give him one I more for the next five anything. seconds. You couldn't. You couldn't see anything. Okay. I couldn't see anything. I wasn't. It wasn't showing me. Me. It was showing Heather. Okay. It was. It wasn't showing you. It was showing Heather. Now can I can see Jenny. Oh, what so you can't. Oh, you're on your oh, phone. You're, you're on your see phone. Any of the questions. Ah. Yeah, I can't oh, see. Here. I can't see the the clues. Oh, hmm. all right. Let's give them twenty seconds. Are you okay with that, the other team, yeah. Team Lala? Are you okay if we give them twenty more seconds? Clue. All right. So get get the clues back up. Okay, hang on. Can you see Lee? Can you see uh, Sister Mary? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll start over, and we'll give you like maybe twenty seconds or so. Yeah. Hold on so one. Hold on one second. And then it was blank. Or is it going to have the same problem again, where she can't see Mary once we get started? No, just don't touch anything, Belinda. Once you once you see Sister up there, don't don't don't. Well, now it's on you. It's not on her. Oh, go up to oh. gallery view then. You have to do gallery view. It's going to go to whoever talks, and I'm going to talk. But you can put it on gallery view. How'd it get off a of gallery view? I thought it only stayed on gallery view the way you do it. It usually does. I don't know. I don't know what. Whoop. No, there we go. No, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I could give the hints instead. Well, no, but it works. It worked like for two clues and then it just stopped working that way and I don't understand why it did that. All right. Well, Team Lala, I mean, are you okay with the switching of positions or calling in the pinch hitter and switching that around? So yeah, do you, does Heather want to do right. the clues? All right, so I'm Heather's going to give the clues for the, we'll give them, we'll give them 20 seconds and we'll give them uh, a, a three, we'll just give them as many as they can get, I guess. Yeah. Do they get so, a new category? Is the that... last two, no, it'll be the same category, but the last two, the last, you only saw the first two? Yeah, I only saw the first two. Okay, so start with whatever three was, sister. Oh, okay, I think you should just, don't you have new words? Hold on one second here. Let me see if I can find that. Wait, so she's, gonna, she's looking for another topic altogether. I, I think you should do another topic. Just doing the whole topic altogether. Hang on, hold please. In the meantime, we would like to thank all of you for watching Pandemic Password. We're here every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 7 o'clock out east. And if you're in the middle of the country, you have to do your own math. That's the way it's not done for, from age, from, uh, from time. They always say, some to such Eastern, such and such Pacific, and they let you. Sometimes they say Central because they don't think they can subtract an hour. But other than that, you got to do your own math. And Mountain Time is there, too. No one ever tells about Mountain Time. I'm sorry, the people in, mount in the mountain. No, it's hard. You, you never know what fucking time it was if you lived in the mountain time zone. Okay, we're still doing the same uh, uh, things that are associated with September. Okay, all right. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else prepared, so um, I'm. We're just gonna. Uh, she, you only saw like two clues, correct? Two clues, correct. Yeah, I only saw the the nine eleven clue and the Labor Day clue, and that's all the clues. Okay, I saw. and we're gonna get rid of. Uh, well, did you see one that you passed on though? You looked at it and then you passed. Did right. You yeah. We're gonna get rid of that yeah. one. So. I didn't see the clues. All the rest of them are are new. Okay. All right. So. All right. 
here we go. And ready, go. Pencils, paper, trapper keeper, desks, teacher. Journal. Journal. Milk. Um, September. Places it, kids go back to. Yeah, school. She said school. Cool. Um, quarterback, touchdown. Football. Yeah. Uh, uh, leading the future generation. Okay. All righty. Well, you got to. So now, sister, you're going to have to do all those tallies because that's too many for me. I got it. You got it. And? Well, wait. Oh. Before you give the results, let's keep everyone in suspense, shall we? Let's find out what our lovely cast is up to here and what they've been doing. So let's start with you, Ms. Meyerson. You've got your fantastic women in a net, I mean, in the net, on the net. Um, so you got that that people could sign up for on your page. Tell us all about what you're doing, Ms. Meyerson. I have that women in the net and I have women who roll around, which is nice. Right. Um, um, first of all, I love that you call this cast. Okay, I'm a cast. Okay, anyway, um, so women on the net, please join us. We do 20 to 25 unique events a month. These two talented uh, women who are hosting us tonight have been on. We do comedy, concerts, all different kinds of games. Uh, just name something, we do it. We had pet readings with an animal communicator the other night. We just do everything. So it's womenonthenet.net. And then um, we're on the roll is, you know, a little suspended, but we're hoping to resume our travel next year. And if we do, we are going to the Rhine River uh, from Switzerland to Amsterdam. We're going to wind up in Amsterdam doing Amsterdam Pride. It looks like it's going to go, we, we hope. It's, uh, yeah, that's in July of next year. And then, um, and then I just lock picture on my new documentary, which is... I've been working so, so hard, so. That is excellent, but my, may I interrupt for one moment for those out there in pandemic password land that might not know what lock picture means, let them know what lock picture means. So just, uh, my edit and I just got to a place where the content is, won't change. So, so, so it, it six months of editing, cause we had to do it remotely. It took a really long time. Um, so you, so you take basically, you know, a hundred hours of footage then you condense it to three or four hours of a string out, and then you get that to two hours and one. So now we're at 80 minutes for the film. And when that's done, you send it off to your composer to score it and your sound mixers to do the sound editing and final sound mix. And then we come back, we do our finessing. We're not quite, you know, we're, we're done. It's a big deal. It's been a beast. Um, <laughs> Excellent, congratulations. Film. It's a really important documentary, and we're hoping to get it out before the election because there's some stuff in there that, about Trump that needs to be said. All right. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. All right, Ms. Uh, Ms. Carroll. Belinda Carroll, tell us, what are you up to and about and doing? And, and let everyone know how they can find you. Hello. Uh, I am currently doing a, a Zoom show on at some point. Uh, so check my Facebook page. You can go to my Facebook page and my Instagram and find out everything I'm doing. But I do have a huge project coming up on October 11th, which is I'm doing an international coming out day comedy extravaganza on your internets everywhere that is going to be uh, hosted at Curious Comedy Annex. And we're bringing a bunch of comedians via Zoom and via um, Before Times Clips and via interviews and via some improv and be uh, some fun stuff. And so we partnered with da Jack Daniels and uh, partnered with Northwest Pride. And I currently have an entire case of Jack Daniels, which is hilarious because I'm actually an ex-drinker. So this is like, it's so hilarious. I have this much booze. So we partnered with Jack Daniels and, and we're going to be uh, doing a huge show a curious comedy annex, and I've got uh, like 25 comedians signed up to do it. It's going to be real fun. So, uh, so check pridenorthwest.org for more information, and also follow me on Belinda Comedy. On all uh, Belinda things. Comedy is it? But on your Facebook page is Carlisle, right? No, it? it's Carol. <laughs> Carol, sorry, I did it myself. God, I did it. We talked about this, but the Jenny McCarthy thing. That's crazy. Sorry, Belinda Carroll. Right, no, it's Belinda Carroll. Carroll. Yeah, it's Carol. Uh, and then it's and R R L L, not the butt part. That part yeah. right there. Belinda Carroll. Carol. Yeah. Belinda. And or Pacific and so Northwest Belinda Comedy Pride. is my uh, Belinda Carroll comedy is my it's my uh, whole thing. So if you if you just look me up there, Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook, all the stuff. All right, thank you. I think I said Carlisle. I'm I'm tired. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, all right, Heather, what you got going on? Tell us what's what's up, sister. Listen, I'm just quarantining with my parents and learning TikTok dances like any healthy adult. Yes, <laughs> we're all but, quarantining. Again. You know, I got some great uh, mom content on there because they are supplying it. So please follow me at uh, Instagram and Twitter at the Heather Thompson. Okay, and, uh, and there's no P in that. Look at the way it's no spelled on the screen that. there. It's, it's Heather. S-O-N. Yes. So, check her out. And last but certainly not least, Tuan, let us know what you got going on. Tell the lovely peeps out there what's, what's up with you. Yes. Well, I do produce, co-produce the Hot Medusa Comedy Show, and that's a monthly show. It's all female comics, and I do it at Flappers currently. So our next show is next week, um, September 24th. Is that next week or the week after? Anyways, whatever dates are. Um, Who knows? I know. Who knows anymore? Right? Yeah, I don't know. It's a Thursday night. It's on the 24th. You can get your tickets at flapperscomedy.com. And in case you didn't know, that is Palappers kind. I got to keep hiding Andrea's in the butt, but there's flapperscomedy.com where everyone wants to know the answer to. Are you staying in the butt? Are you staying in the butt? Or <laughs> and the lobsters are peeing. Okay. And Jenny McNulty, what are you? What are you doing, dear? Well, um, I have taken my daily chat show down to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for everyone's mental health. Slacker? I know. I feel like a slacker, actually. Um, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will be chatting live with uh, wonderful people. Uh, Heather, I believe we got to get you on board. I've chatted with these. Heather and Su Suan, fantastic. i got two new guests that uh, will be coming on shortly, I hope. Uh, so I just uh, it's a chat show that's, that airs live on this very page. Uh, 1 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and of course we have password every week. And sister, I know you're busy praying, uh, yeah. but what does Lisa Koch have on board? Because Lisa Koch, we should tell what she's doing, being as she is so kind to let us use her web page. So what is Lisa up to? Well, not a whole hell of a lot. Uh, if you go to heylisa.com, uh, Lisa generally plays a concert about once a month-ish. Uh, comes up with uh, uh, pandemic material, uh, uh, just uh, uh, current events, sings weird parody songs and sing-alongs. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a gosh darn a lot of fun, about once a month. But check out HeyLisa.com. And also, uh, HeyLisa.com posts all of our previous pandemic passwords and all of Lisa's previous concerts. So you can find out pretty much uh, the answer to everything on that website. Yes, you can. And I will tell you, I watched with my mom last last time that Lisa did a show, and we both enjoyed it immensely. Oh, I love that you and your mother both came. I mean, both uh, attended. Yes. Yes, yes, correct, yes. correct. All righty. So without further ado, who is our grand winner? Well, if I only have, I don't have a, all I have is a, is a rim shot. Uh, what we really need is a drum roll. Uh, here's the deal. Our teams are tied. <gasps> both winners. Big that means, winners. That means they get to share the prizes? Yes, they get to share the prizes, and that means there are no prizes. You oh. you win nothing. We have nothing for you because it's the pandemic, and we're cheap. <laughs> Undying love for playing our game today. Uh, yes, thank you very much. So uh, thanks to all of you out there. We'll be back again, hopefully live next week, uh, if Zoom uh, cooperates. We'll be live Monday and next Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 Eastern, and 6 Central. You do the Mountain Time one. And uh, thanks again to all of our lovely contestants, Andre Meyerson, Belinda Carroll, uh, Suan Weaver, Heather Thomas, Thompson. God, I'm just purposely messing things up. Heather Thompson. <laughs> and Belinda Carlisle. And Belinda Carlisle. And Jenny McCarthy. And Jenny McCarthy. And Belinda Carlisle's royalty. That's too. right. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much. Tune in again next week, guys. Bye from Pandemic Network. Bye. Bye.